Hundreds of thousands of pellets have washed ashore on some of our beaches. The highest concentration seems to be in the area of Bob Hall Pier. The TCEQ looked into it. So did Chris Six News reporter Ashley Portillo. She joins us live from near Bob Hall Pier with the latest on this pellet invasion. Ashley. Mike, it turns out these pellets are used to make plastic products. Billions of them are used each year to make things like plastic water bottles and plastic bags. But now that the question that many are asking is why are these pellets showing up on our beaches? These plastic pellets are pretty easy to miss unless you look closely. To me, it would just look like a piece of shell or a piece of sand. They're small, about three to five millimeters in length, and they're dull in color. They were first spotted on Friday by Jace Tunnel, a local environmentalist. We walked out and saw all these little plastic pellets just littering the beach. The pellets are used to make all sorts of plastic products. One of the closest facilities that uses them is located near Port Lavaca. Because of their tiny size, the shipments can be made of millions of these at any given time. Tunnel suspects these came from a shipment that somehow spilled into the Gulf. It's definitely ugly to have plastic all over the beach. Based on a rough estimate, Tunnel believes nearly 1.6 million pellets are near Bob Hall Pier and another 370,000 in other areas. But despite the plastic pellet's small size, their impact can be large. Fish and other marine animals could mistake them for food. Pellets are so small to where small fish can eat them. And then what eats small fish? Bigger fish. And then what eats the big fish? Uh, humans do. But now, a mission by environmentalists like Tunnel to clean up this pellet invasion. Cleaning it up, probably impossible. Stopping it from wherever it's coming from, more likely to happen. Now, this is a pretty rare situation, so rare that county and state officials aren't even sure how to go about cleaning this up, nor do they know whose responsibility it is. And as for the TCEQ, they have told me within the past hour that they have looked into these pellets along the beach, but they have referred this issue over to the Noasis County Coastal Parks. Mike. All right, Ash.